Hey everybody, welcome back to my slice of heaven. I'm Joey. And as promised, today I'm bringing you yet another soup that uh, we like to eat here in our family. And I hope that you'll find it interesting and give it a try. I know a lot of you guys have already probably tried this soup. But it's Supa Toscano. hope I pronounced that right. It's a potato, sausage, and kale soup. Um, I will give you a warning, we do substitute the kale with spinach. But you could probably use any greens out of your garden. You could probably use bok choy, pak choy, maybe even collards, greens, or kale, or spinach, either one. Probably any greens you have on hand. But uh, today, like I said, we'll be using spinach. And let me take you over here. We'll take a look at the ingredient list. We have the main ingredient, which is sausage. You can use a ground bulk mild Italian sausage, or you can use hot Italian sausage. I prefer the links. I think they have more flavor than the ground, so I always use the links. These links is a little bit over a pound, but that's okay. More meat in the soup, the better. Here we have one large onion, eight cups of potatoes, or two and a half pounds. It was a three pound bag of potatoes, but after I skinned them, it came out to two and a half pounds. Here's the spinach, and we're gonna be using a full pound of spinach. We're gonna be using a cup of heavy cream, we're going to be using a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. I always use the mild Italian sausage because Chris doesn't like things too spicy. But I do add just a little bit of the crushed red pepper in. We're going to be needing about 10 to 12 of these chicken bouillon cubes. If you're using just chicken stock or chicken broth, you will not need the chicken bouillon cubes. You'll just use the 8 to 10 or 10 to 12 cups, I'm sorry, of chicken broth or chicken stock. And we'll also need some garlic, which we'll, we'll probably end up using about one tablespoon of garlic. Well, that's my ingredient list. Like I told you though, guys, you can substitute any greens you might have on ham. Hand, not ham. You gotta use greens. The original recipe did call for kale, but we always use spinach. Our first step, guys, is gonna be to brown the sausage. And since I'm using the links, I will need to take them out of the casing. You can see they come out of the casing very easily. Just need a knife and just run it down one side and roll it out. Now you will need to break that sausage up as it's cooking. But I will bring you back when the sausage is brown. It should take about 10 to 12 minutes or so. Guys, the sausage is brown, so I'm going to put it in a bowl. You want to take it out. Now you don't have to take it out if you don't want to. I'm just doing it for the sake of the video. Sometimes I leave it in. And just add all the rest of my ingredients. Sometimes I take it out. Today, since I'm making video, I'm not being so lazy. I'm actually going to take it out. Depending on what sausage you use, you might have a lot of grease at the bottom. If you do have grease, you should probably try to drain some of that out. But as you can see, we don't have hardly any in here. I'm going to call that good enough. Now I'm going to put in the one large onion. And about one tablespoon of garlic. And maybe a little bit more. Here we like our garlic. Now we'll mix that around and try to uh, scrape up the bits off the bottom of the pan as that's cooking. And we're just going to cook this until the uh, onions are translucent and just a little bit cooked through. Okay, one step I did miss, guys. I was supposed to put the red pepper flakes in with the sausage, but I forgot. So we're just going to sprinkle just a little bit in the onions. Not well, depending on your taste, but not too much here because Chris doesn't care for too much of spicy foods. Guys, at this point, the uh, onions 
and garlic have cooked a little bit so now we're going to add I'm just going to go ahead and add 12 cups of water that makes 12 cups of water or three quarts and we may end up having to add a little bit more just to see if we have enough to cover all the ingredients when we when we're done next I'm going to add my bouillon cubes and since I have 12 cups of water I would need 12 bouillon cubes Okay, one bouillon cube per cup so I will be back when the next step arrives and that will be adding my potatoes but first we're going to bring this to a boil all right as you can see my liquid is boiling so now we're going to add the potatoes sorry I'm blocking your view I just don't want to splash the liquid all over me Now we're going to let this bring this back to a boil and let these potatoes cook until they're soft. Guys, we're just checking the potatoes. That water is hot. That steam is hot. Just take one, push it up against the side. If it smashes kind of easily, then they're done. If not, they're not done, and my potatoes are not ready yet. Potatoes are fork tender they smashed easily when I push them on the side of the pot so now we're going to add our sausage back to the mixture and we're also going to add our heavy cream we're going to put about a cup and a half And just stir it up and at this point you're going to want to turn your heat down to medium medium low you're just going to let this simmer for another 15 or 20 minutes all right as you can see our soup is boiling so at this point we're going to turn off the stove and we're going to add our spinach And we add a whole pound of spinach to this. And you just want to mix it in there good. And that's it for the soup guys. That's ready to serve. soup looks pretty good and you guys can chop that spinach up if you like I usually do not so I'm gonna taste test this for you and as you can see in this soup we did not use a lot of spices the sausage pretty much uh, flavors the whole soup but this soup is hot oh yeah that is good really good I hope you like this recipe if you did please give me a thumbs up maybe you didn't like the recipe but you just like me go ahead and give me a thumbs up that's going to be it for the video I hope you give this soup a try it's a really tasty uh, soup and until next time everybody I hope you all have a great day